Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Scott County, Kentucky, where I came across this abandoned steel truss bridge. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. Before we talk about this old bridge, let's talk about what defines a ghost road and a phantom bridge. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water, such as a stream or a creek. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. So I'm here at the Galloway Pike Iron Bridge over here in Scott County, Kentucky. And they've got a little historical marker here that tells us all about it. It was built in 1910 over the North Elkhorn Creek. And there used to be a mill here. The local property owner actually gave a thousand dollars to help build this bridge because it costs so much. It's been closed for a while now. It still has build plaques up on top where it was built in 1910 along with the uh, county government at the time. The creek looks like it's pretty or looks like it's running pretty good today. I know they've had a lot of rain down in this area. And that's the new bridge that bypassed this one. I'll have to check the dates on that. Let's go down underneath and see what it looks like down there. Nice little fishing spot down here. You can see the creek gets pretty high. There's debris stuck underneath the bridge. If you look closely, you can see where the bridge is rotted out, the beams. They got holes all the way through it. But the stone bridge abutments look great. Missing a few stones here and there, but not bad. Not bad for 110 years. Looks like the cross cables are blown out. There's what, one, two, three, four of them. See what we got over here.
Yeah, this thing's rusted pretty bad. It'll stand for another 25, 35 years. People can still hang their leopard bras on it. A couple summers ago, I was at a bridge about 50 miles east of here, a steel through truss bridge. I guess it sat a good 40 feet above the creek. And the bridge was twice as tall as this one. And we ran into some locals that were climbing on the bridge on top of it. And then they were jumping off into the creek below. That was pretty wild. But this is a nice little area down here. If you're out driving around in Scott County, check out the GPS coordinates at the beginning of this uh, video and come on down and check this place out. Good place to have a picnic. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.